Okay guys, we have a pretty cool one here today. We built a jetty, well, a floating jetty. This is on the Murray in South Australia, and we were looking for something to replace the existing floating jetty that was decayed and, and sinking. And uh, we came across these two large black pontoon floats you can see here. They've got four bolts on each pontoon, one in each corner, to then bolt down a timber or steel walkway. So we picked it up, measured them. I did a bit of a drawing for what we were looking for. I knew I wanted it to be six meters so it would fit a boat up next to it on either side. Then ordered some gal steel in full lengths. Took it into the shed at Woodside, cut it all down to the sizes we were after. First off, bolting it down so we knew the frame would be in the correct position, then welding the cross members on, and then welding the cross bracing on from there. This was all galve, so it was an absolute pig to weld, but it come up the goods. So we built this six metre section of the jetty in the garage, uh, but the actual part that fixed to the shore, we needed to make on site because it was attaching to six existing legs that were already in the ground. We ended up putting it on the back of the truck, used the tipper truck to tip it, and then just slid it down the grass straight into the Murray. We floated it around into position and then welded up the frame from there so we knew it was right. The frame had six existing posts, which were super strong, but I still was worried about it, so we tied them in the best we could. Again, a bit of cross bracing on it, and then we went along and decked the whole lot. As you can see, it turned out absolutely beautifully. This thing's been here for three months now, and it's stood the test of time so far, and that's including all of the boats over summer, all the wake boats that throw a huge wakes. And although I think due to its weight, it doesn't really lift up or down much, it does, because of the length being six meters, tend to wobble a little bit. We did put some trailer pins on here, they're oversized, but they've done the job and they'll keep this here well into the future. If you're interested in these types of videos, please like and subscribe, then you'll be notified next time the new video comes out. Thanks for watching.